here's what Disney gets better than I ever got better than most. Well, it's not our fault. It's still our problem. Ann Malam is an entrepreneur, CEO, philanthropist, athlete, and professional speaker who has created more than $100 million of net worth. She's completed 11 marathons, including one on every continent. She's the founder and executive chair of Solid Core, a boutique fitness concept with over 90 locations across the U.S. We can set the right expectations that it is going to be a little bit scary. It's going to be a little uncomfortable. And those are absolutely necessary ingredients in overcoming the perceived impossible. She played the Phantom of the Opera's muse for more than 10 years, Broadway legend Sandra Joseph. Well, Sandra is continuing to make her dreams come true. If we could see the ripple effect of your life, your impact is gonna go on for generations long after we're all gone. Think of me. Think of me fondly when we've said goodbye. Remember me every so often. Promise me you'll try. Tonight. Because many highly talented, brilliant, creative people think they're not because the thing they were good at at school wasn't valued or was actually stigmatized. The thing they were good at, their strength, wasn't valued, it was ignored or denied, or it was actually stigmatized. We told them that the best thing about them, their brilliance, their talent, their creativity was the worst thing about them. And for a lot of them, they still believe that's true. Our customers will look at us and say, we are the best at what we do. Sure, we can look at sales and that's important. But the one statistic that matters more than anything is did the customer come back? A little bit better than average. All of the time, we have an opportunity to restore the confidence of that customer to come back and do business with us again. And everybody thinks customer loyalty is about a lifetime. It's not about a lifetime. It's all about the next time. But first, it's going to piss you off. There are things that I've learned that I'm going to say to you that's probably going to irritate you. And I feel like I have to say those things to you. No one is coming to save you. Your life is 100% your responsibility. I'm going to give you the tools so you can live in execution around the things that you said were important. Storytelling is the most powerful weapon in a leader's arsenal. Hollywood could snatch your attention for two hours straight. Yet in corporate America, people barely pay attention for five minutes in a weekly meeting. Everybody needs, that their teams need, that their audience needs to stay motivated to spark curiosity, to connect. So reach for a story, all of you, reach for a story the same way that you reach for that agenda in a meeting. You can't just hire friendly people and hope for the best. That you need to have some tools for them. You need to put some, some metrics in place. As a matter of fact, Peter Drucker famously said, what gets measured gets managed. That is so true, I think so many of you will agree. I have a little tweak to this quote, where I say, what doesn't get measured, gets forgotten. Ownership is everything with drumming. Timing is everything with drumming. We're <laughs> career, finances, health, family, friends, romance, personal growth, fun and recreation, physical environment. I have all my clients rank themselves from one to 10. Now I want to point out that a perfect inventory wheel does not have all 10s. I would argue that that's impossible. But your perfect life inventory wheel is one that leaves you feeling happy, fulfilled, healthy, and probably financially stable.